Hi guys, welcome back to the Spanish Homestead. So today we're going to be planting some, if I pronounce this right, lab lab beans. Lab lab beans. Um, they're also known as Japanese beans and black beans. Um, they're in a purple pod like that. They don't grow very big, as you can see, but they are supposed to be really, really nice, um, roasted. Uh, you can blanch them. You can also, if you take the seeds out, just let them just start to shoot. Just put them on a bit of kitchen paper, let them just start to shoot, and then you can store them and use them in the future as well. So, yeah, that is basically what we're going to plant, but I'm going to tell you a bit about them. So, they're believed to be from around like east asia area africa uh india area they're used in curries a lot in india also can be used as a green green manure green manure i can never say that word properly green manure or a cover crop so it's an idea for me for next summer to use as a cover crop so they will grow up to about six feet seven feet high um, they can also, like I just said, be used as a cover crop, so you can just plant them and just let them spread out across the ground as well. Um, they will germinate within five, five to ten days, so we're going to have a go at planting some now. They are pretty frost tolerant, so they'll go down to about three degrees. Now, obviously, if you're watching this in England or somewhere that you get a really, really cold winter, then I probably wouldn't advise planting them now, planting them probably next spring. Um, but for me here, we probably, we're lucky if we go down below five or six degrees in the winter. Um, we had a cold night last night, 13 degrees. <laughs> so just to show you, no, that is how cold we get here. Now, they grow, depending on where you live and what climate you're in they will grow up from anything up to 75 days up to 300 days so you can have these growing all year round like for me my neighbor who i got them off like she's had hers in since january and they're still thriving they're still growing I'll give you pods within about 65 days so about, about two months about two months and you'll get the pods now when I was speaking to my neighbour, she said the best way to do it is if you just pull that, and you, oh, it didn't work for me, but you pull a little stringy bit out that goes down there and down that side and then fry them with a bit of garlic. And apparently they are really nice. Um, like I said, I've done a bit of research myself on them and they go really nice in curries. You just put the whole pot in. You can boil them like you do with normal beans. They like to grow in temperatures between 18 degrees c and 30 degrees c but like i said previously they will go down they are pretty frost tolerant so they will go down to about three degrees um so for us out here in spain it could be a really good winter crop now i'm gonna obviously we're gonna sow some in pods as well as we're gonna plant some straight into the ground and we're just going to see what comes up. But I am going to keep some of the seeds as well for next spring. Just in case nothing happens through winter, then we can start again in spring. With the, in India, where they're really like well known for being grown, for going in curries and stuff, they are grown actually on the banks of rivers. Like really sandy, well-drained banks. Because they don't like like really wet feet. <laughs> so they don't like the roots being sodden um so obviously if you're gonna do it give them a go in like i don't know a really sandy or a bit higher we're gonna do them in raised beds to grow over um an archway that we've put in which i am not allowed to show you because katie has given me my word that this is her bit of the garden so i am not allowed to show you because she wants to do the videos on So guys, what I've got, I've just got the polystyrene uh, trays that we use out here. This is a six inch one. So we've got these. 
um, these are the seeds that were given to me. So what we're going to do is I'm not going to do a whole tray. One. I've not got enough seeds. But I'm going to plant probably eight, eight and nine in here. And we'll see how we get on with them. <clears throat> Sorry. We'll see how we get on with them. Um, and then we'll also put a couple in the archway as well. And hopefully, by Christmas, we'll have some of these beans. Okay. Obviously, we've already picked these. We've already picked these out of the pods. But that's what they look like when they're dried. They're just little, little black beans. So, what you want to do, you want to plant them. This is what I've been told. That way, so the little head wants to be pointing upwards. So, I'm going to plant these in now. Water them in. And then we will see how we get on. So I hope you enjoyed that video, a little little short video on something new that I'm gonna be growing. Um I hope there's enough information in for you. So I, I hope there was enough information in there for you. I will catch you guys on the next one. If you've not already, go down, hit the subscribe button. See you later guys.